So today it's all about summer pruning, tree summer pruning. I know everybody talks about you, that you should prune your fruit trees in summer, but I also prune trees that aren't fruit trees in the summer. Well, this is like the middle of August, so this is when I usually do it. And so far, I know many of you will think, but the tree could bleed out and all that sort of stuff. But so far, nothing has ever happened. They just keep on growing and growing and growing. So, especially this year, it's been such a wet year and they have just grown ridiculously. And today it's really humid, so this is why I'm dressed like a skank. So, the tree I'm going to prune is a willow. Planted that thing a few years ago, and honestly, it is just like exploded this year. It looks like a huge mushroom. Anyway, have a look. So this is the tree I'm talking about, you know, and it's kind of like, it has like a million branches that are crisscrossing absolutely everywhere. And yeah, it looks a bit like shit. I mean, this is the way it looks from inside, and trust me, I chopped off a shitload last year. And it's time for it to get some sort of, you know, I don't know, to make it look a little bit better. When it comes to pruning, I really don't get sentimental about the whole thing. I'm just thinking, fine, anything that's crossing needs to come off anyway. Oh, and by the way, my neighbors are barbecuing, so either barbecuing or they're burning down the house. I'm not quite sure. But this is the smoke you may see during the video. Anyway, so yes, we have to get some structure back into the tree. It is like a million branches that are crossing. And yeah, let's just start chopping. I know that pruning obviously promotes new growth, but during it this time of the year, you know, the wounds have enough time to heal. And also there's not gonna be that much growing going on because it is, this is probably all it's gonna grow anyway. So I'm just gonna start chopping. I hope it tastes better than it smells, whatever they're cooking. So the aim with this butchering really is, butchering, pruning, whichever way you want to call it, is to make it area and not quite as dense looking as it was. Yes, there were quite a few mature branches I cut out, but you know, I'd rather just cut out the bigger branches or the thicker ones where all the small ones are on. You know, cutting all the small ones off, when you cut one off and obviously two or three could sprout from that. And that's the last thing I want. And I always step back, it's like a painting. You always step back and then you have a look at it go and find where else can I take other stuff off. And obviously doing it now with all the leaves on, it's a little bit more difficult to see what you should be cutting off. However, you also see the finished result with the knees on. So you know what it's kind of going to look like next year. So this is the way I do it. And it's always worked for me on that tree anyway. So yes, and obviously also doing it at this time of the year will give it still plenty of time for the wounds to seal before winter sets in. So yeah, looking good. Now I'm just going to have to clean up. So it looks a lot better and yeah, I think that's me for the day because I'm very hot and not in a good way. And it's really muggy. I shall talk to you guys later.